Hey everybody, Chris Young from Gander RV and Outdoors here. Sometimes I get the opportunity to run through a collection of travel trailers that gives you a solid bang for your buck. Today just happens to be one of those days. I'm going to guide you through an exclusive line of travel trailers, the Heartland Pioneers. The Pioneers come in 15 different layouts, with most of them being family-focused bunkhouse models, which is great, especially if you've been looking for that entry-level camping. So regarding length, Pioneers run from just under 22 feet to a smidge over 37 feet. In terms of unloaded weight, at their lightest, they are slightly over 3,100 pounds. And at their heaviest, they happen to tip the scales at nearly 7,000 pounds. We're going to start with the Pioneer bunkhouse models first. Of the 15 floor plans, eight of them are bunkhouses. The first one is the BH-175. The BH-175 is a lightweight single axle model, the only Pioneer with a single axle. It has a pair of twin bunks and with the convertible dinette and camper queen, can sleep a total of five people. The next five are the rest of the BH series. We have the BH-250, BH-260, BH-270, BH-280, and the BH-305. Every one of them can sleep in impressive eight campers that are exhausted from all your outdoor activities. The BH-250 has double over double bunks in a rear corner that are right on the entry side. The master bedroom has a camper queen bed set off the main living area by a privacy curtain. Two more sleep spots in the BH-250 are the convertible dinette and the jackknife sofa. Similar to the BH-250, our next pioneer, the BH-260, has the double over double bunks in the same corner. However, the BH-260 moves its jackknife sofa and fridge into a slide. What that does is that rotates the kitchen against the interior wall, abutting the bedroom. The master bedroom is separated by a solid pocket door. Next up, we have the Pioneer BH-270. It moves the double over double bunks to the other side. This brings the bathroom to the entry side, allowing for a second entry door that goes right into the bathroom. The living area slide is larger and contains the convertible dinette and jackknife sofa. The kitchen area is also larger with an expansive kidney-shaped counter. As far as the bedroom, it has a solid pocket door for privacy to go with its camper queen bed. Number four of the five BH models is the BH-280. It's close to the BH-270, but it adds a few wrinkles. The double over double bunks have made a gallant return to the entry side, but now there's an added, and I have to say very convenient, outside kitchen. The BH-280 stretches the main living area to include a 50-inch TV across from the sofa. The convertible dinette is a larger U-shaped dinette, and the BH-280 also adds a large pantry or linen closet. Now we're on to number five of the BH models, the Pioneer BH-305. The 305 is similar to the final two bunkhouses that are coming up as it's a twin bunk model in a bunk room with the twins in an L shape against the back wall and campsite wall. Inside that bunk room, you'll also find a cabinet with space for a TV. The living area slide of the BH-305 holds the jackknife sofa and U-shaped dinette across from the L-shaped kitchen. The BH-305 also features an outside kitchen. The final two Pioneer bunkhouse models, the DS-320 and the QB-300, are large and in charge and both are capable of sleeping a whopping nine people. The DS-320 has an extremely large bunk room in the back. It also has a solid pocket door for privacy. Inside the bunk room, you'll find three twin bunks along with a cube sofa capable of sleeping two more people. One of the bunks and the cube sofa is sitting in a slide. This slide sits right next to a second slide housing the U-shaped dinette and jackknife sofa. Opposite this slide sits the kitchen with a large L-shaped counter. A large entertainment center abuts the main bedroom. The main bedroom can be separated from the rest of the DS320 by a pair of pocket doors. The DS320 also has two entry doors, one right into the bathroom as well as an outside kitchen. The QB300 also has the twin bunks, but it's classical design where the bunk room has a pair of twin bunks on either side divided by a cabinet. The single slide is a large living area slide like the DS320, only a larger U-shaped dinette. 
The kitchen is the same as the DS320, and up front, you'll find the entertainment center and the double pocket door separation for the main bedroom. So that's it for the Pioneer bunkhouse models. Now we're gonna move on to the four rear living layouts. First up, we have the Pioneer RD210, a very couple-focused trailer. This is a classic layout, has a jackknife sofa and convertible dinette sharing the back wall. A camper queen bed is centered on the front wall in this open space layout. Next on the rear living list is the RE275. Along its back wall, you'll find a large TV at an angle facing the living area slide. A slide housing the jackknife sofa and convertible dinette. The kitchen has a deep kidney-shaped counter space. Unique, the RE275 has a walk-through bathroom with a private pocket door entrance from the bedroom. The bedroom also has a solid door for privacy. The RE275 also has an outside kitchen. So next up, the Pioneer's only rear kitchen layout, the RK280. This layout is a camp cook's dream. The kitchen dominates the rear wall and creates a large inverted J shape with its counter. Nestled against the massive kitchen counter are a pair of swivel rockers that sit across from the living area slide with its jackknife sofa and dinette. The front end of the RK280 is laid out exactly like the RE275, including the private access from the bedroom to the bathroom. The final rear living floor plan is the RL250. Its living room slide houses the jackknife sofa and a large U-shaped dinette, perfect for camp relaxation. A pair of swivel rockers sit against the back wall with the main entry in the back to allow immediate access. A second entry is a private door to the bedroom. The RL250 does have a good sized kitchen with that kidney-shaped counter. That, my camping friend, finishes off the Pioneer rear living models. If you're like me and you're counting out the layouts, you'll realize that we have three left. Well, that's because Pioneer has a trio of toy hauler models. Each of them have their own benefits, but they all have the ability to store your toys with approximately 14 feet of garage space and a cargo carrying capacity of around 2,200 pounds. That is, of course, depending on the model. The first one, the RG26, doesn't have a slide out, but it has a pair of fold-up sofas in the garage area for extra sitting and sleeping space. The RG26 also has a straight-line kitchen and a walk-through bathroom, leading to a front bedroom with a camper queen bed. The RG27, like its slightly longer sister, the RG28, does have a slide out. The RG27 slide pulls out the kitchen appliances, allowing for more room to store your toys in the RG27's garage. A pair of fold-up sofas in the garage area also allow for more sleeping room. Up front, you'll find the bathroom and the bedroom's layout very similar to the RK280 with a walk-through bathroom that has a private access pocket door from the bedroom. The final Pioneer Tour Hauler, the RG28, has an enclosed garage. Separating the garage area and the main living area is a walk-through bathroom. The RG28 has a slide containing a large U-shaped dinette. The queen bed covers most of the front wall and sits sideways. With all of that, the RG28 is capable of sleeping six adults. So what separates the Pioneer line of travel trailers from other conventional travel trailers are the Pioneer's amazing amount of features that you won't find without a higher price. In the interior, you'll find Pioneers with LED accent lighting, residential style stainless steel kitchen sink, microwave with carousel, double door fridge, and a whole lot more. On the Pioneer's exterior, you'll notice nice conveniences such as power tongue jacks, power stabilizer jacks, power awning with LED lights, and LED lighted speakers. So, as you look into getting a travel trailer for your family, you'll want to get one that's gonna provide value. The Pioneer line of travel trailers not only give you that value, but give you more than what you expected in a conventional travel trailer.